so this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial I'm going to share with you how to find out maximum discharge well uh, I have a question that question has been asking it previous year that means in this uh, tutorial you will going to learn how to solve numerical problems as well as formulas you need to have in your mind to solve or to find out maximum discharge so let's go for first learn let's go for the formulas so basically three formulas you required as per the question requirement and this question already asking gate i think one or two marks right i couldn't i couldn't remember for how much marks they have asked but yes i have i actually noted down the form, uh, question definitely i will share with you so the first formula we require that is continuity equation continuity equation one more thing if you are preparing for university examination then i will definitely share with you one thing you should uh, remember or should uh, understand the derivation of continuity continuity equation for cartesian, cartesian coordinate as well as cylindrical coordinate because both of them are most important that is a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 and then Bernoulli's equation Bernoulli's equation what's what is about this equation Bernoulli's equation is p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z1 is equal to constant we can say zero also right <coughs> next is discharge what is the formula for discharge basically we denote discharge by q okay and the formula for discharge is a1 v1 or a2 v2 but here we are talking about maximum discharge so if uh, it is you know the diagram is like this okay suppose that this is one and this is two we are using reducer but definitely discharge will be maximum here so we'll go with the a1 v1 for finding out maximum discharge what i am sharing with you the same question has been asked asked in gate previous year i know it this question will be lengthy and probably it will take 10 to 15 minutes to understand and uh, to share with you Def but definitely you will understand the whole concept what you required if you will get question related to it in the upcoming examination all right so let's go for that question so we have this question and i hope you can read this question it it seems a really lengthy question of co course it's lengthy question so in this question what they have asked basically consider a steady incompressible re rotational flow through a reducer okay so first of all draw a reducer suppose this is one and this is so no this is not a reducer this is a reducer right this is one and this is two okay now <coughs> suppose that this uh, water is flowing like this or what fluid is flowing like this horizontal pipe is there so remember this one horizontal pipe horizontal pipe means z1 is equal to z2 if you are equating to both sides condition one condition two and implementing Bernoulli's equation okay we'll understand right now only per diameter reduced from 20 centimeter to 10 centimeter always remember unit unit play most important role right just upstream reducer is 150 kilo pascal and fluid has vapor pressure is bp is 50 kilo pascal which is must be equivalent to this one p2 and a specific weight specific weight specific weight is equal to 5 kilo newton per meter cube okay uh, this is also known as rho g which i have used in that equation but knowledge equation right neglecting fictional effects maximum discharge that can pass through a reducer without cavity causing cavitation okay that means if it is without causing cavitation talking about that means definitely this side would be vapor pressure only right now what we require basically we require to find out we need to find out q max is equal to a1 v1 a1 is pi by 4 d1 is square d that is d1 is square d1 is 20 square multiple 10 to the power minus 2 definitely square into v1 right now we don't know v1 what is v1 we don't know so by implementing you know but knowledge equation we can find out the value of v1 because we have given all these here 
to implement and to get an answer right so here what we pressure we're getting 150 and here 50 pascal we're getting so Bernoulli's equation p by rho g plus v1 square by p1 let's say 2g plus z1 is equal to p2 square by rho g sorry p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2 z1 and z2 get cancelled okay now what remaining basically p1 by rho g plus p1 square by 2g plus p2 uh, sorry is equal to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g we'll send this to this side so p1 by rho g min minus p2 by rho g min is equal to v2 square by 2g minus v1 square by 2g get common here 2g so b2 square minus b1 square and here p1 minus p2 by rho g okay so what is the value of p1 150 minus p2 50 p1 minus p2 by rho g rho g is here we have given specific value is 5 so we got value till now here so v2 square minus v1 square by 2g so this is 100 by 5 multiple 2 multiple g is equal to v2 square minus v1 square 1 so v2 square minus v1 square is equal to 20 40 multiple 9.81 okay 40 multiple 9.81 i hope you can see yeah now thing is that we don't know the relation between v1 and v2 once we will come to know the relation between v1 and v2 like definitely we can solve the problem right <coughs> now it's time to implement the third formula which i have already shared with you right so what about that third formula that is continuity equation continuity equation so what is state that a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so a1 pi by 4 d1 square into v1 is equal to pi by 4 d2 square into v2 so pi pi for pi for get cancel d1 is how much we have given that is 20 square don't need to check even because both sides are having same unit 20 centimeter 10 centimeter so we'll get answer in any unit we can we wanted to right so 20 square and 100 uh, 10 square 2 so v1 400 100 multiple v2 so this we cancel 4 4 v1 is equal to v2 so what we can do basically we got the equation from here that is v2 square minus v1 square is equal to 40 multiple 9.81 now in place of v2 we can put this value right so what we got 16 v1 square minus v1 square is equal to 40 multiple 9.81 16 minus 1 15 so v1 square is equal to 49.81 by 15 so we have to find out v1 is equal to root under this term 40 multiple 9.81 by 15 just to use calculator divide by 15 is this it's a root we have to find out don't forget to find out root right so we find out 11 5.11 meter per second v1 now we have to find out what here here we have to write 5.1 and in place of this now use calculator to calculate this term so 20 multiple 10 sorry 20 multiple 10 to the power minus 2 is 0.2 as whole square is this and v1 5.11 we got this multiple pi divided by 4 is equal to how much value basically we are getting 0 0.160 and 160 <coughs> Five, right so it is one two digit they have given 0 0.16 meter cube per second discharge now check the unit we have given in this problem we got the answer is 0 0.16 so we have given option sir 0 0.38 0 0.27 0 0.16 so option third is the right answer according to our calculation now I hope you understand how we have implemented these three formulas formulas to find out maximum discharge 
okay i hope you understand the question how to solve it and uh, hope so it help you a lot and it will definitely help you in the examination of coming examination as well as university examination uh, definitely numerical problems right so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye